Okay, I can't say enough times. Get that I out. So it's one, two, plus. I'm going to write this in what some people call a funny way. I'll put the I here. And what would I get there? Three root two. And then minus root six. All right. Now, I, I do want to go to the key, by the way. And the reason why, I want to make sure you know that this is the stuff you should be studying over here, not my chicken scratch. I got the one, and I see this over here. That's all I wrote down. Now, someone says, what are you doing now? I'm multiplying by the bottom's conjugate. And what's it going to be? Well, it's, it's going to be the conjugate of the bottom, which is going to be 2 minus that crazy-looking thing on top and bottom. And certainly, if you do that, I'm not going to say it's going to be the best thing in the world to do, but it's not the worst thing in the world to do. I do want to write that down for you, though. All right? Because a lot of times when people are looking at keys, they're saying, I don't understand how you got the next step. Well, that's where I always say there's a weak link in students. They don't understand. they got to get paper and pencil out to do it. So I want to do that for you. And I'm just going to do the bottom, right? So what do you get? On the bottom, you would get this. And again, I'm just doing this right now. All right? So what do you get? You get 2 squared, which is 4. And then you can get minus 3 root 2 minus root 6 squared i squared. It's a conjugate. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. What does that give you? 4. Since i squared is minus 1, this is plus. And now I'm going to square that thing. What does that give you? 9 times 2, which is 18. The root of 6 when square, squared is 6. Then what do you get? Well, let's write this down. You're going to get minus 6 root 12s. I need to simplify. Right? I need to simplify. I'm kind of looking at that. And what do I see? i got to be careful about this. Um... Let's see, 28 minus 6, root 12. But 6 is really not my issue. The 12 is, and 12 is a perfect square, doesn't it? And that would give me 12. I took a 4 from the 12, and that gives me a 3 then, right? That's not so bad. Here's what I'm going to do with it, though. I'm going to factor out a 4 just to make the conjugate easier for me. And this would be 7 minus three root threes. So I want to point out, I see that written right here. All right now, so why'd you write it that way? I like to make the numbers as small as possible, like seven smaller than 28. And now I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by that guy's conjugate. Now granted, it's more of the same old, same old. I haven't addressed the top yet, though. I just keep writing it over and over again. I want to point out where we are now, though. We're here. All right? I want to point out all I did was I took this, I multiplied it by 1, and I got this over here. All right? Let me get my eraser out again, and I need to focus in on something. And I'm going to focus in on that bottom. That's all I'm going to do. Just the bottom. So what do you get? 4. And what's nice, it's a conjugate. So a conjugates are really easy to deal with. You're going to get 49 minus, well, that's going to be 9 times 3, which is 27. All right? And 49 minus 27 is going to be 22. And 4 times 22 is going to be 88. 4 times 22 is 88. All right? So I know the bottom here is 88. Okay, the top's a killer, but not as bad as it looks. What I want to do is I just want to do it. And I, I realize something that I can't do that. Of course you can do that. And I'm looking at it, and one step at a time. So I'm going to distribute the two across these two terms now. And let's do that. looks relatively simple. I'm going to say it's going to be, what, 14 plus 6 root 3. All right, I got another problem on my hand, and someone says, what's that problem now? I got something else to multiply. And I want to point out what I'm multiplying now. It's actually minus 3 root 2 
minus root six times seven plus three root three. All right, I'm gonna write a little bit differently. I'm gonna say instead of minus, I'm gonna say root six minus three root two times seven plus three root threes. All right, and by the way, I know there's an I there. I know that, and we'll talk about that later, okay? So, let's take a look at it, and what does that give you? I gotta be real careful here. That's gonna be seven root sixes. And then you're gonna get, what? Plus three, and that's gonna be root 18 now, right? We'll take care of that later. Minus 21, and that's gonna be root two. And then you're gonna get minus nine, right? Root six. Okay, I see some things right away. I see this, and I see this, which gives me minus two root six, all right? Now, the root of 18 has a nine in it, so this would actually be nine root two minus 21 root two. Well, nine minus 21 is gonna be minus 12 root two, all right? So I think I have something to write down over here. I'll write this down for you, I have 14, plus six root three. We did that um, a moment ago, I should say. And then we're gonna get minus, I'll write this over here, two root six. You're not gonna factor, nah, no, I won't factor it to it. Two root six uh, plus 12 root two, I. What I'm gonna do now is divide top and bottom by two though, because I see a bunch of twos everywhere. So seven plus three root three minus root six plus six root two i 44. All right, I'll put a little circle on that and again, I'm gonna commit to that and let's see how we did. Did I get to 44? Whoops, I did that by mistake. Did I get to 44? I did. Did I get seven plus three root threes? I did. Did I get a minus sign? I did. Did I get six root two? I did. Did I get plus root six? I did. Did I get the I? I did. Things are looking good. Is it Was it difficult to do? Yeah, it's kind of tedious, but the point is getting to the end. We want to get to the end. Thank you.